take a look at the resources at our disposal for this future. There is actually a scientific method of assessing them molecularly in our known environment to find out everything that we could feasibly utilize. The You can't really change an element with any reason that might be energy efficient that I know of. So that's a good way to assess how we might go about something like this. You can. You can pop one apart, but I feel like this today doesn't really work there so much from Einstein's perspective. And the composition of the known world is known. So A pen and pencil estimate of what we can do is not too far out for highly educated people. Not that a whole lot of people can affiliate with that understanding, but to contemplate our possibilities with scientific reasoning in mind. And from that standpoint, try to eliminate the disconnect between people who make financial overall decisions for the world and people that understand how that affects the world in the short and long term. If we were to with a giant lens and focus the sun's energy to collect it in a small spot on Earth might take decades or centuries. And the exothermic problem would also be an issue on the environment of the planet. But perhaps we use a multi-location, large-scale geothermal method of in the short term, alleviating that problem of energy until a larger project is completed, rather than the foreseeable future of nuclear, which is arguably more dangerous. And the pencil and paper feasibility arguable we need to eliminate that disconnect for these decisions to be made if an idea needs to be passed through Congress like this and no one knows what in the heck it is or how in the heck it affects us you have problems. Your bias is based on things that are perhaps irrelevant to the outcome. In this day and age, we 
in a not so simple time have a sudden and extreme need for different background in decision making. If something like that is ever going to happen, someone needs to do it. I concluded this, that if it had to be somebody, how could it be? So you know that. That is very interesting, sir. If I was hearing this more often as a younger student, I might be extremely more inclined to do something so significant and exciting with so much purpose in my life, so much to contribute to the future, so much reason to live. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm hearing very different politically biased things all the time for image and numbers that are ascertained by jeopardizing our long-run potential. As they turn their backs on us, is human greed and insolence. in a state of immediate, rapid change and historical, historical potential for human progression, we need to see this. We must see this. may not be a long time until these problems cannot be tucked away any longer. The longer we wait, the worse they'll get. I want the good bricks. Particularly good bricks. That are both strong and hard. And vibration resistant. And thermally dampening. Just in case. Why walk the edge? Why walk the edge? What bricks are underneath you? 